Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am excited today because I'm doing another fashion video. I am doing one on crossbody handbags. Um, I think that my luxury tote bag review went over so well that I wanted to talk about other kinds of handbags that I have. I have lots and lots of handbags I've been collecting for many, many years. Um, so if you are, you know, also a bag enthusiast, you might be ahead of me in your collection. You might be kind of just starting out in your collection, but either way, I think it's fun to kind of you know, be a little bit voyeuristic and see, you know, how other people select their handbags and what kind of strikes their fancy. And what I'm going to do today is kind of break it down into seven groups. Obviously I'm not going over, going through every single crossbody handbag that I have, because that would just be insane. But I wanted to kind of show some of my favorites from the different examples of the categories that I have. So not that I feel the need to justify, because I don't even feel like I need to justify. If you're watching this video, you're probably already kind of, uh, you know, I might be preaching to the choir here, but I was just going to say that I am a wife, a mother, a social entrepreneur. And so I just find myself, you know, in many different roles throughout the day and throughout the week. And so that's one of the reasons why I have, um, you know, such, such an extensive collection of different types and styles of handbags. Um, you know, a lot of times I have events to go to with my husband, who's a luxury real estate broker in Beverly Hills. So you can imagine like that's very, very, um, you know, fashion forward and exciting, but I'm also a really sporty mom and I coach my kids soccer team. So I also am looking for stuff that's kind of a little bit more on the go. So what I do is I just kind of think about the things that I own in different categories. And I also think about them by color and organize everything uh, by color so that I can still be, you know, fashion forward or feel like I'm presenting myself in a fashionable way, but with ease. So I have certain kinds of silhouettes in my mind that go with, you know, a certain kind of handbag. Maybe it's going to be like a vintage look that kind of goes with a particular silhouette or other accessory, like a wide rim hat that I have. So that's kind of why I'm presenting this stuff to you in this way. And if you are a person who is like a fashion chameleon, as I am as well, um, I think it's just a very easy way to, to kind of organize, you know, what I have and help everybody else also kind of access my process and my mindset around, you know, the things that I have. So I can be a very girly girl and among my feminine, uh, crossbody bag collection. One of my favorites is this little one by Zach Posen. Now I love a Zach Posen handbag. Um, it has a very distinctive shape. It kind of connotes like a Celine shape, like the Celine trapeze bag. Um, I just love it. This one is super adorable. It has these little tiny uh, pearl flower details. So it just brings out that femininity. The color is, you know, just really lovely as well this kind of pastel -y yellow it reminds me of spring early summer it's the kind of bag i love to wear for mother's day or for easter that kind of thing um, but just a very feminine cute easy go-to but memorable uh crossbody bag so this is one of my faves zach posen this is um i think the smallest size i have a couple of other uh, zach posen handbags but this is uh the smallest of the ones that i have All right, another one of my fun feminine crossbody bags is this one by Re Rebecca Minkoff, and it is rose gold. Hopefully you can see the, um, the chain there. Just a really, really pretty bag. One that I wear in daytime or in evening, like this one definitely transitions well to evening because of the colorway. Um, just the color itself is a feminine color. I feel like rose gold is just very unique and stand out and feminine. Um, it's a very well-made bag. It has kept its shape so well. Uh, so I love this one. This is another one of my favorite kind of crossbody or shoulder bags. And I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't include Kate Spade in the feminine crossbody handbags. This one is particularly feminine. It is also kind of in this uh, nice pink color, a little bit less rose gold and a little bit more true pink, but it is 
fully glitter. I actually have a pair of ballet flats that match this exactly from Kate Spade as well. Just a super cute and beautiful feminine handbag. Again, one that I can wear for evening, but I wear it in the daytime. Like I'm just not afraid to bling out in the daytime either. Love, love, love this handbag. So on the sportier side of life, I have this Hermes Evelyn, and I actually really love this bag. You can see it's <laughs> well loved, well loved. It's losing its shape a little bit here, but I love the color. Um, I am a person who doesn't shy away from color, but I have very specific colors that I wear. So I have like a fuchsia color that I love to wear. Um, so you'll see me in that or a teal color that I love to wear outside of the neutrals and the basics. Like I don't wear just every color willy nilly, but I have certain colors that I concentrate on because I really love them. This is one of them. So I get a lot of use out of this, but I just find this to be a super, super functional handbag, um, especially for me as a mom on the go. Um, it's a bag that Again, I can, you know, just throw on and go to the mall. It's a bag that I might wear to the kids' school uh, just for a day of running around uh, with them, running errands. I just really love this bag. It's quite large, very comfortable, very wide strap. Um, I just love this bag and I aspire to get it in other colors as well. So it's a little bit pricey, so it's not gonna be um, an immediate purchase, I have, but it's definitely one on my hit list for getting another one. Love this bag. Another really sporty bag that I love is this one. It's just kind of small and basic, but it's uh, this camo print from Michael Kors, but it has this awesome pop of like lime green in it. I wear a lot of camo too. That's also one of like the patterns that's a little bit of a staple in my closet. So I love this, um, super easy. Again, really super basic shape. I feel like I can just throw this on and run around whenever shopping or someplace with the kids. Uh, but love this handbag too. It's just uh, tiny, compact, but efficient, efficient. Love that. Another great little handbag that I love that's on the edgier side or more fashion forward side is this one by Cara. It has some little hand straps, but it's a little stiff on the hand straps. I don't often wear it this way. It has the long shoulder strap in it though, and I love to wear it that way. Just a super cool, unique bag, um, and just a solid shape. This round shape is unusual, but it's just solid and kind of easy to wear, you know, with flowy dresses. Um, so I really like this one too, as a great crossbody option. Another one that's really edgy and cute that I kind of uh, love to throw on is this one. It's also by Michael Kors. Um, obviously love the snakeskin print. I feel like, you know, this kind of snakeskin pattern is a bit of a classic. It had a real moment a couple of uh, seasons ago, but I feel like this is just, again, a classic bag. The color, this kind of, um, taupey gray color is easy to wear with a lot of things and it kind of brings a little bit of more of a, an urban or exotic edge to a, an outfit a little bit more on the artsy side so I really like this one too. And then my final one in the edgy category that I really love is this uh, Yves Saint Laurent in the black on black. It's just super stealthy. I love, love, love this bag. I get a lot of use out of this bag as well. Um, also the leather uh, is really durable, so I really like that. Um, it really holds its uh, shape very, very well. So I'm not concerned about really kind of going hard on it. But another really great bag, beautiful bag, and it's also simplified things for me because um, some of the other, I noticed that like all of the other black crossbody bags that I had were black and gold. I tended to gravitate towards black and gold. Um, I don't even think I have a black and silver bag, but this was this was just a great option for me too because the hardware is black. So 
it's just, you know, kind of uh, a color block. It's, it's washed out in one color and I don't have to worry about how it's going or clashing with my jewelry if I feel sensitive to that with what I'm wearing. So love this bag. Also highly recommend getting this kind of black on black because it's just so versatile. All right, so from my vintage collection, I've got this coach bag that I love. Obviously well used, but the shape is just very classic. I actually have a briefcase that's almost exactly like this that my dad uh, gave me when I was graduating from college at Columbia. Um, but I, I really like this one too. Again, it's simple, it's classic, it's elegant. Um, I can kind of uh, play it in a little bit more of a sporty way because of the way the lines flow. Uh, but I just love, I also love a vintage handbag um, because again, I'm just an enthusiast. I just love uh, handbags and the, the leather and just, you know, how they bring an outfit together. So another one that I really love. Okay, and then another one out of my vintage collection is this Dooney & Burke. I kind of have a pretty extensive vintage Dooney & Burke collection. I love the old Dooney & Burks. I like the two-tone uh, leather pattern and the little duck on there. I, I don't know what it is. It just gets, I just really love their, their bags, their older bags. So I have several um, top handle uh, Dooney & Burks, but this is a crossbody one that I like and I just threw on a little twilly, um, but Super cute bag, again, classic shape, easy to wear. Another one that's really nice on an artsy day is kind of thing I might go, you know, wear to like Abbott Kinney or someplace like that where I wanna feel like hipster and cool, um, but definitely love this bag as well. All right, and I feel like the most classic crossbody bag that I own is this one from Coach. It's just a saddle bag in kind of like a mustard yellow color. I, I even remember getting this at the Coach in Las Vegas, uh, I think with Kofi. I think um, the kids were there too. So I think we were on vacation in Vegas and I got this, but I just love it. And it is the kind of bag that I know I will have forever. I know that it is timeless. The color is fantastic, especially with my skin tone goes uh, with a lot of different things. I love that it has like this purple leather accent uh, under there, but Coach just makes really great leather goods. I think I've said before in other videos, I feel like they're one of the most underrated uh, luxury brands in terms of the quality of the items that they produce. Um, there are definitely some other brands that are more iconic, but I just find their stuff super du durable and functional. So if you find the right thing that you really, really love, uh, it will last a really long time. And I've had this for years and years and it still just looks fabulous. So um, another really just classic saddle bag you can wear pretty much everywhere. You can wear this to work. You can wear this, uh, you know, running errands. You can wear this to the kids events, school stuff. Um, so another classic bag that I love that I know I'll have for a long time. All right, so out of my iconic crossbody handbag collection, I've got um, a Chanel wallet on a chain, uh, black and gold. Um, and this one, you know, I chose the, the lambskin. It's definitely less durable, let's say, but definitely, in my opinion, more beautiful than like, say the caviar leather. It's not quite as stiff. It's definitely more elegant. Uh, love, love, love this bag. Um, it's another one that, I often, you know, I often carry during the evening time, but it can play for the daytime because it's just a classic, you know, black Chanel bag, quilted leather bag, uh, you can't go wrong. So um, this is definitely an investment piece, but one that I'm really, really happy with. Um, and, you know, uh, I just picked black and gold and, and get a lot of use out of it. Um, so. Another one that I recommend if you are ready to make an investment. Uh, it's not that big, but I find that that kind of makes it more versatile, again, for evening. So when I have events, um, I can definitely, you know, stuff the chain in like this, carry it as a, a handheld, or I can just uh, wear it on the chain. So 
definitely recommend targeting something like this for your collection. And then another one that's also kind of in that wallet on a chain theme is this one that I got, I think for my birthday a couple years ago from Kofi. Um, it also has a beautiful chain that's like jewelry in and of itself. Um, this is a more durable kind of like epi leather, um, but another kind of small, but very functional. I know I've worn this to like uh, concerts in Vegas because it's small, um, it's compact, but it's super cute and stylish. So again, another one that transitions well to evening. Another one that I really recommend. Um, I think that these two bags kind of are great complements to one another because again, this one is more durable and easier to kind of wear to say like a concert, whereas the other one is more of like for a dinner, a sit down dinner kind of thing. So another bag that I love, and of course it has that sentimental value because I got it from, from my guy. All right, so my last two bags are a very special category. I'm calling this like the ethnic handbag collection. To me, these are kind of like priceless bags that I own because I know that um, they were handmade by actual artisans in different places around the world. Um, they are one of a kind and not, you know, mass produced at all. This first one actually is not quite long enough to be a crossbody, but I wanted to show it as an example. So this is made out of uh, crocodile leather. Like you can actually feel the um, texture of the crocodile. And I had a friend who brought me this from South Africa one summer uh, when she went to go do an internship. A friend I went to college with at Columbia, Lindsay. Shout out, Lindsay, if you're watching this. I still have this bag. I still love this bag. Um, but just a really beautiful bag and special to me because like I said, I know uh, being West African myself, uh, the amount of workmanship that goes into producing something like this and the quality is there um, the time and the artistry is there because it's handmade so this is a bag that I really love and another one that I will have and keep forever as a special part of my uh, handbag collection in that same vein I have this other bag that I got uh, in Playa del Carmen Mexico um, when I was on vacation with Kofi and I'm just going to put it close to the camera so hopefully you can just see the detail and the workmanship workmanship on a bag like this. A uh, beautiful leather handbag that was made by hand. I met the um, artisan myself, uh, even has like a Mayan calendar on the side. Um, just a really gorgeous, lovely, one of a kind handbag that not everybody's going to have. Um, so it's really, really special to me. And I just love supporting local businesses when we travel and local artisans and just showing uh, respect for their giftedness and what it is that they're doing. So again, to me, uh, a lot of times the reason why I'm willing to pay so much for a luxury handbag is because of the artistry and the intention uh, and the time that goes into it and the materials that go into it. And there's no difference to me uh, between you know, what's happening at like maybe House of Louis Vuitton and what this artisan was doing. Arguably, this was even, um, you know, done with more uh, um, detail and attention and care uh, on that and, and produced as the only one. Uh, so it's very uh, special to me. And I definitely recommend when you travel, um, you know, consider shopping local and finding special pieces like this to add to your handbag collection. All right, so you guys can probably tell I'm a total handbag junkie. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review and it kind of like gave you some inspiration for maybe some different kind of handbags that you could look for for yourself that you might wanna add into your collection or even just helping you to think about the stuff that you have and how you wanna organize it, maybe in your closet or even just in your mind so that you understand uh, when you wanna select uh, 
you know, a particular bag, what silhouette you feel like it matches uh, based on the style of the bag. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If you guys love it, definitely drop uh, like a thumbs up in the comments below and I will try to make some more fun handbag or shoe review videos or maybe even outfits, who knows, uh, in the near future. Thanks so much for watching.